Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome back to day two of theCUBE's live coverage of HPE Discover here at the Venetian in Las Vegas, Nevada. I'm your host, Rebecca Knight. I'm sitting alongside my co-host and co-analyst, co-founder of theCUBE, Dave Vellante. Also here with John Furrier and Rob Strecce and Bob LaLiberté, a big team here. Going to Disney. You're, you're going to Disney. The Celtics are going to Disney. <laughs> ah, that's right. Sorry, we, we got to get it in anywhere we can. We're Boston, we're Boston people. Uh, let's get started on this next segment, uh, shall we? Speaking of Disney. Uh, we would like to welcome to the show Paul Hunter. He is the North America Managing Director at HPE. Welcome, Paul. Thank you, Rebecca. And Alexi Varenko, VP Cloud Data Transformation Engineering at the Walt Disney Company. Welcome, Alexi. Thank you, thank you for having us. You thank did a terrific you. job on the main stage with Fidelma there, so, awesome. so well done. Thank you, thank you. Tell us, tell our viewers a little bit about Disney World. You've, you've been there a long time, had a lot, a lot of your career there, and on the main stage you also talked a little bit about how Disney, it, it's the theme parks, it's the studios, it, it, there's so much to the company too. Yeah, well I started at Disney about 13 years ago and uh, you know, leading a you know, the technology organization. And uh, you know, the first five of those years I spent at the Walt Disney Studios. And um, you know, at the studios we were leading technology teams to help empower uh, the, the movie making business. Moving over into the more of a corporate function, now we're here to you know empower the cast members and uh, you know employees to have and guests to have more magical experiences. You know, using technology, we're able to uh, ensure that we have smooth operations at the parks uh, that lead to positive impacts on the guest experiences from you know, uh, building and uh, serving applications from everything that uh, improve park entry systems for the guests coming into the parks to the support of the back end systems that support the cast members that actually help create that magic and keep the overall experience positive and help guests coming back. Yo, know, Paul, we, uh, we were talking uh, yesterday and I've probably been to I bet you I've been to close to 300 live keynotes in the last 10 years since we started the Cube, 2010. Wow. So more than 10 years. And I said that that was the best experience in a keynote I've ever seen. I actually put it up there with like NFL games, NBA games, and Disney. Yeah, right. yeah. I mean, it was that amazing. It was so, a real show, wasn't it? Yeah. So it was you, a real privilege to be there as well. So. It really was. It was first, my first time there. I know many of us first time there. So, I mean, how did that feel for you as a member of the HPE team? And you must have felt a lot of pride. Yeah, yeah. I sort of felt it was like a really, a real moment in time. We were saying beforehand, this is like, it feels like uh, this is a point in our corporate history, this uh, a turning point for how we're going to grow in the future. So yeah, I was really proud. And it was great to see Antonio, albeit he was the size of an ant from where I was, and uh, with Jensen there as well. So yeah, it was a real show. I remember my first time at, at Walt Disney World. We, we took the family in 2009, and I had never been. We went, we just beelined to Space Mountain. <laughs> and we had my six-year-old with us, and he couldn't wait to get in a roller coaster. And he had never been on a roller coaster. We get to Space Mountain, we realize, you got to go solo. <laughs> yeah. And we were like, we're going for it. Right. You know? We just looked at him and said, don't stand up. <laughs> and if you get scared, just yell. And it was the, the, the greatest experience. We just loved it. Do you have a, a, your favorite memory of Disney? Oh, I, you know, I'll be honest. I don't have one. I have a collection of memories, especially you know working at the company here, and you know my my favorite memories are always revolved around times when my family and I have gone to the parks as well too, and every time that we go, whether when my kids were young, now they're grown adults, we always have a great time, and it takes us back to you know being kids again and enjoying ourselves, the food, the attractions, the rides. The shows, it's just, it's just a great experience. The experience, it. that's yeah. the operative word, which yeah. is what we felt last night at the Sphere, it was incredible with uh, Dead and Company, 
I mean. And you're making it the happiest place on earth. I mean, yeah. that's, that's the mission statement that, that is part of Disney. So as you were talking about, Alexi, if this is a wide variety of businesses that you help support, and it, yeah. it must you've got a big job, so I salute you. Yeah. Can you talk a little bit about the role of enterprise tech in terms of supporting all of these businesses? Because as you said, you are really keeping your guiding principles front of mind. You know, you're making sure that the cast members feel supported and you're making sure that the, that the people who come to Disney feel the magic. Yeah. yeah, I mean, really, you know, Disney's operations span a wide uh, variety of locations uh, globally for, and a wide range of uh, areas too, from theme parks and resorts to production studios. And so part, we try and help provide more reliable services to them. Uh, from an enterprise standpoint that allows them to consume flexible, scalable IT infrastructure and that can adapt to their diverse requirements uh, at each of the locations while maintaining you know, con consistent performance uh, and reliabil reliability across the entire network for it. Specifically, Disney parks uh, are essentially small cities and they require many of the, uh, many of the same systems that are used to run and operate those cities as well too. So Paul, I mean, Disney's obviously a unique customer, but thinking about the, the wider observation space that you have mm -hmm. in North America, uh, what are you seeing as some of the key challenges that customers face? They got multi-cloud, they got hybrid cloud, they got, now they have to worry about AI, there's private AI that you guys have introduced, there's all this LLM co complexity. Yeah. Help us understand the, the conversations you're having with customers and some of the big challenges they're facing. Yeah, well, uh, first I want to uh, thank Alexi for being here with us. Um, we've been an official technology provider for Disneyland Resort for the best part of 20 years, or 19 years currently. And we're also the official server provider for Studio Labs. So the collaboration's been deep and long. Uh, I happen to actually be in the garage in, uh, in Palo Alto, close to where your, your co-founder yeah. lives. Yeah. And uh, the very first customer was Disney. So the, the original oscillator is there. So this is a partnership that's been going on for a long, long time. So it's a real privilege to be able to serve um, Disney. But um, really what we're seeing, it, it's funny, in, in many ways, it's, it's what we've seen in the past. Our customers are having to deal with e ever more complexity. They've got another wave of technologies coming, a promise of something else that's going to be transformative. They have to do that with the same resources they've got, so it's ever more complexity. I think the difference now is there's even more urgency because there's this promise of what AI can bring to our customers. Some of them know what some of it might be, but they don't all know what it's going to be. So discovering how and when they're going to deliver that to the business is really urgent in a world where they've got the same amount of resources, but they're having to manage with even greater complexity. And you know, when I speak to Alexi, he's sort of like, yeah, this is what we do. <laughs> this is my <laughs> job. It's the same every year. It just gets kind of harder and they cope with it. So Disney, Alexi, like many companies, has embraced the public cloud and has really been, been a leader in that. How has your thinking about, about the public cloud and how you are, and, and how you manage your workloads in terms of how, how has your thinking evolved? You know, you know, Disney, like many companies, you know, We've been using the cloud for many years, and you know, with the uh, public cloud, it changes how you actually uh, use things. And so you see increased velocity and new capabilities being released, and our, offer to, our, our operations have come to expect the ease of access and self-service that comes along with it. For the workloads that require you know, more of an on-premise infrastructure uh, deployment, we're striving to provide a very similar experience to our customers uh, with a core set of services uh, for there. You know, we want to provide that on-demand access to a wide range of IT resources. HP GreenLake uh, kind of helps us to deploy, uh, you know, computing power and storage, you know, capacity closer to where to the data source, and that reduces latency and it improves performance, uh, and it's helped us enable, you know, to to process and analyze data more efficiently and more effectively across all of our distributed systems uh, across the enterprise. And that really helps us kind of develop better insights and really enables us to make better decisions as well too. You know, Paul, Disney is a really interesting um, example. Alexi just mentioned the distributed nature yeah. of the company. Uh, you think about hybrid cloud, now hybrid AI, uh, and, and what you've done with GreenLake, essentially, 
creating a cloud-like experience, on-prem, hybrid, really abstracting some of that underlying complexity. Mm -hmm. Now you take that out to the edge. Yeah. Hey, you got to secure it, Yeah. right? There's maybe different development tools. You sometimes bring operations technologies in. There's connectivity issues, potentially. Um, and again, Disney's a really fascinating use case there with yeah. the potential now with AI, just in terms of you know, safety and monitoring equipment, et cetera, and making the, 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 the customer experience so much better. How do you think about, from HP's standpoint, of extending that experience, that cloud-like experience, that substantially identical experience across the states, now out to the edge? Yeah, well, I think Antonio did a really nice job of laying out a strategy for the company when he became CEO. He said it was going to be edge-centric, he said it was going to be hybrid, he said it was going to be data-driven. And all of those things have uh, come to bear. And uh, you know, as, as a great example, Disney, to your point, has got lots of edges. They're the parks, right. they just happen to be uh, amusement parks. They could be hospitals, they could be cars. Um, but really, what our customers are looking for, they're looking for simplicity of operations and a common way of managing their environment. They're looking the speed with which they can set up a service. Speed to service is one of the critical measures for our customers because they need to be able to deliver business benefits quickly. And uh, they're also looking for, to be able to do it in a, uh, an economically cost-effective way. And uh, that's what we're offering. Um, and really with the, we're excited about the private cloud for, for AI that we announced yesterday. We have done a lot of work <coughs> to save our customers a lot of effort and time in, involved in integrating the NVIDIA software stack together with some of their language models that others are offering, together with some of the training models and uh, some of the software um, deployment tools. So when our engineers did the work to do that, it took months. So we're in effect saving our customers months and that's one of the things they value most. Time to service, time to realize the, the return on their investments. Yeah, more than a reference architecture, you've actually got a solution that they can install. I think, uh, I think it was Antonio saying 20, 24, I don't know, 24 seconds? Is that right? No. Yeah, he was saying yeah. it's, uh, you, like, you, uh, can you can deploy it with three clicks and, it's, yeah. uh, and you've got a first instance running in 24 right. seconds. Yeah. He set for Delma the challenge of halving it to 15 seconds and reducing it by a click. But yeah. nevertheless, it's easy to set up and, well. and start using. And there's some other scope uh, that customers have to worry about beyond that. But, but that, get that out of the way so you can focus on your people and your process. Well, and so. you made a great point. It's not a reference architecture. It, the integration work has been done. Rather than sending you the bit parts and a manual on how to put it together, we've done the putting it together for you. So it arrives ready made. It's like putting together furniture, you know, well, when you're you yeah, 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 putting together an aeroplane. <laughs> this looks pretty complex. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I mean, it's, it's even more complicated, <laughs> as Alexi would tell you. Well, so Alexi, up on the main stage, uh, Fidel Maruso asked you about your journey with HPE GreenLake, and, and she asked you a point in your question, what was your life like before HPE GreenLake, and, and what's it like now? I'd love you to talk to our viewers, talk through what you, what you said on the main stage about what led you to the decision to choose HPE GreenLake, and, and how has it improved improve things yeah. for you. Yeah, you know, um, Disney's been on this journey uh, towards a cloud-like service for many years. And uh, we've explored various as a service offerings uh, and models for various different capabilities. But with HPE GreenLake, you know, we found that, uh, that you know, it can provide Disney with the ro most robust set of uh, as a service offerings. Uh, that we can extend, it, that it allows us to extend it to our hardware acquisition, it allows us to uh, manage the infrastructure, you know, more like a public cloud service, and uh, you know, it allows us to you know, provide those services uh, to meet the changing needs of our business and uh, the operating segments. And it's provided flexibility in the types of uh, use cases and technology that we deploy within Disney and the environment, both at the edge and across the enterprise. And so we began kind of uh, with the Disneyland Resort and expanded across the enterprise where, these, where the use cases uh, require a greater degree of flexibility in the service offering. And the fact that HP GreenLake could provide uh, those capabilities from fully managed hybrid cloud to large scale Superdome computers uh, systems, uh, and it was a, really the primary driver for our decision. And it's really helped us to change how we actually uh, manage that infrastructure for it. Well, my last question, so I, I, off camera I said, Antonio, how are you going to up your game next year? How are you going to top this? And 
You kind of said that was Jim Jackson's problem. <laughs> <laughs> you know, so I won't ask you how you Well, I've got an game. idea. What? All right. Oh. I think we need to do it from the space station. <laughs> like, we were in the sphere looking up at space, now we need to be in space looking down at the sphere. Wow. <laughs> okay, so I was going to ask you. I was going to suggest Taylor Swift. Or Beyonce, yeah, there you go. I'll go with your, there you with go. your suggestion. Taylor okay. Swift's a good call. Yeah. What do you want to be able to say 12 months from now that you can't say today at HPE Discover 2025? I want to say that we've landed this PCAI infrastructure in the majority of our customers. All right. Good luck with that. Right. Congratulations <laughs> on the you. partnership. Yeah, thank you. Alexi, Paul, a pleasure having you on. Thank you. Thank Thanks, you, guys. Thanks. I'm Rebecca Knife for Dave Vellante. Stay tuned for more of theCUBE's live coverage of HPE Discover. Keep it right here on theCUBE, the leader in enterprise tech news and analysis.